external hard disk drive, flash drives, even memory cards are very, very key tools for today's digital world. And then before you go out there to buy the next one or even the one you're currently using, this video is a must watch because I'm going to show you how to do a one-time test. It doesn't matter whether you're buying a new one, it doesn't matter what is written on the container of all these drives. You have to run this test once and for all to confirm that a USB drive, a memory card is original and what is written on it in terms of storage is exactly what it can handle. So if you're ready, let's just go in and see this. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depart. So how can you tell that the memory card and flash drive is fake or original? Today I'm going to share a tool with you called H2TestW and it was developed by Harad uh, Bokholz. Uh, this application has saved me a lot of stress because over the years, the past 10-12 years, I've suffered from buying a lot of fake SD card and um, hard drives or flash drives. So today we're going to use a 128 gig Samsung Evo we want to check whether it is original or fake. And this is the thing I do for every, every flash drive, every USB, every memory card, even hard drives if I start using them. Because if you pass this test, then it is reliable, it's original. I'll put the link to this application in the description. It's just about 409 kilobytes. Uh, it's for Windows, but I'll put an alternative one for Mac OS. So most people ask me, why do you have to go through all the stress when you want to start using the storage device? Well, I want to make sure that whatever I put in the storage device remains there when I'll need it. So this is the application. It's very small, very easy to run. You open the targets and then you select the drive or the memory card or the uh, USB flash drive you want to test say okay so there are two things to check here whether you can check all of the space which is what I recommend that's what I recommend especially for a new drive you want to test whether it's original or fake and then once you select that option uh, click on write and verify so to tell you that it is testing only something it's normal for some larger storage to have a one or two byte for system partitioning information so you can just click ok and then start testing it so make sure you do this for every drive the three things that you learn from this is not just the, the read and write it also show you the speed of the um, memory card which is very very good as me you are using uh, for digital camera you want to shoot 4k you want to shoot uh, high speed you have to check now this is an old system and I'm using a, a card reader which is about a USB 2.0 so if it's a USB 3.0 in your system the speed would be way 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 higher than this so um, it shows you that then it's what does this application do let me explain it a little so this application will write one one gig of files keep writing it until it fills up the whole storage so you want to make sure that if you're buying a 128 gig memory card that it can contain 128 gig card a uh, uh, load of information so most people will like say, oh, I put something in my memory card to disappear. It's virus, you know, <laughs> it is corrupted or that. No, you just bought an inflated storage. Windows will just read what is written on the uh, <laughs> memory card. But this guy will tell you the amount of files that this memory card or flash drive or, or has this drive can actually store and can read back. So that is what I use after I've suffered from eBay, Aliexpress, even Amazon, I've bought some memory cards that were fake. So it doesn't matter, even in, in stores here in Nigeria, it's just everywhere because you know they import from China and some other places and you can buy them. So once you finish writing these files, it knows the MD5 you know, hash of those files to start reading it back. If it runs into any error, it will just alert you in the information space. As you can see, it has filled up this. It takes a lot of time, so I have to cut off a lot of things so that <laughs> this video won't be too long. I spent over two hours, you know, trying to make this video. So what it will do is that it will read them back. So if it finds any problem, it will report here, tell you that there is a problem. So this is what then I do so that after doing it for the first time, I wouldn't worry again about my storage device or hard drive. I'll know that if I put something there, it won't disappear. It won't just spoil because I've suffered a lot. I've lost a lot of files because I bought a memory card that is fake. Sometimes they inflate eight gigabytes to 64 gig 
one storage goes beyond that eight gigabyte <laughs> any other thing you store there will get lost and that's painful so you can see now the test has finished without any errors and that confirms that this is our uh, original if you watch till this point a sub to this channel will be originally nice so thanks in advance so if you finish your test and it is not showing you finished without errors if you are seeing a screen like this kindly return the flash drive the hard disk drive the usb drive to the seller and request for your refund once it gives you that error that is detective this is very very important so apart from that you can go back and delete all the files that was used for the test and use your drive so until i see you next time peace subscribe i'll see you